In this edition of Interview, we're joined by author Avni Doshi, who's been nominated for the Booker Prize with your debut novel. Congratulations, how does it feel? Uh, it's surreal. I didn't think I would make it this far, for sure. I mean, even being on the long list was just a huge surprise. This is one of, you know, the biggest literary prizes in the world, and you've done this with your first novel. That's a good start. Yes, it is. Uh, I've been working on this novel for, I had been working on this novel for more than seven years. So even to see it published, even to see it in bookshops was, felt like a huge accomplishment. So, yeah. Tell us about the book and the story behind it. The novel follows the story of a mother and daughter, Anthara and Tara, and they have a very difficult relationship. And Tara, the mother, uh, is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And so her daughter is dealing with the kind of predicament of how to look after a woman who never really looked after her. Where did you take the inspiration from for the storyline? Um, you know, a lot of it was imagined. Uh, it was, I'm really interested in relationships between women, but also my grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease uh, about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And so halfway through the process of writing the novel, I brought in the Alzheimer's component uh, because I was doing so much research into the disease. Mm -hmm. For you, you know, how did you get into writing? Were you always a writer? You know, what inspired you to actually put pen to paper and write your first novel? So I was never a big writer. I was always a big reader. Uh, and my background is actually in art history. Uh, but I always loved to read literature. And in my 20s, I became quite interested in contemporary fiction. And I don't know what made me decide to write, but I just felt the urge. How was the process for you? Was it easy or did you get that writer's block that everybody talks about? You know, did you find parts of it really challenging and difficult? Writing the book was really a kind of uphill battle. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I have no training in writing. I never took an MFA or any creative writing classes. Uh, so for me, the process was really my teacher. It was with each draft that I really learned how to write. And it was really the mistakes um, that were the most generative in the whole process because those really showed me where I was going wrong and what I needed to uh, improve upon. If you had to go back to the start again, would you do anything different? I would tell myself not to be so stubborn. I think through the process of writing, it was really difficult for me to give up on certain aspects of the book. But, you know, there's that old saying, kill your darlings. I would have learned to kill my darlings uh, a little earlier in the process. One of the challenges I imagine writing a book would be to make the story universal and appeal, you know, to people from all over the world. You were brought up in New Jersey, you now live in Dubai, you know, how has that helped with the book? I think I've always had a kind of outsider perspective uh, for most of my adult life. I haven't lived in the States, I think, since I was um, in my early 20s. And so I've always been sort of on the outsides of whatever society I've lived in. And I think that often gives you the perspective of an observer. Uh, so you can bear witness to the stories of others. And I think that's been really helpful to me. Why have you felt on the outside, you know, why, why have you felt like you've been on the outskirts for each society that you've lived in? Um, I think when I moved to India in my 20s, I thought I would really feel at home there. But as somebody who grew up in the States, you know, I was different. Um, my background was different. My references were different. My education was different. And so even though in some sense I did feel at home, um, I also was outside of society in certain ways. Now, we're here in Dubai. You know, how important is literature to this region? You know, I know you're very much involved in the Emirates Literature Festival. Tell me about that and what that brings to the table. I think the em uh, Emirates Literature Festival is just incredible. I think they do such great work promoting um, literature all over the country, all over the region. They invite uh, authors of, you know, international standing 
uh, to come here and to speak. And so it's really so great. I'm really proud to be um, involved with all the good work they do. Um, I would love to see more grassroots efforts. Um, and I know that there are individuals, you know, working on things. So I'm excited to see what else is going to come up in the future. You mentioned the, the grassroots, you know, how important is it for local authors to have a platform here? I think it's really important and I, I think that, you know, we're kind of at a moment now when uh, there are more and more young creative people living in Dubai and it would be wonderful to have, um, you know, perhaps MFA programs for them. It would be amazing to have more literary journals uh, based in the region, based in the country. So I think, you know, there are things that we could do, maybe even residencies uh, or fellowships for writers from abroad to come and live here and uh, work with uh, students here. What are your thoughts on literacy levels? Because not everybody is as lucky as us to be able to have access to books, but also who've been taught to read. There's still children around the globe who don't have any of that. Yeah, and I think that really has to be um, at the forefront for any government, any society, is to really encourage reading and writing. I think that's the way that, um, you know, people have access to life and to kind of, you know, improving their situations. So absolutely, I think, especially in countries like India, it's really important for literacy to be at the forefront of, um, you know, any kind of political platform. As a female and a very successful female, what would you say to anybody thinking of writing a book? You know, what advice can you take away from your experience and offer them? You know, everybody, hopes that there's kind of a, a particular method or maybe a course that they can take. Uh, but the most important thing is really just to sit down at your desk every day and to focus. Um, I also think reading is probably the greatest teacher for writing, you know, to see uh, the work that those who have come before you have done. Uh, I think that's really how I learned a lot about writing. What would it mean for you to walk away with that Booker Prize? Oh, I don't even know I, how to wrap my head around it. I think it would be, it, it's still kind of too big for me to uh, fully fathom. It would be amazing. What can I say? It would be a dream come true. Life-changing, I guess. Life-changing. Life, it's already been life-changing, but yeah. Well, we have our fingers crossed for you. Avni Doshi, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you.